All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Akwat that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Diddy and Meek Mill's Wicked Relationship. All right, Diddy and Meek Mill's wicked relationship. Now, I got aspires to do this lesson because this is the new hotness that's going on in the world. <laughs> and it's not even, you know, it's just ridiculous, man. All right, this whole Diddy situation been happening for a while now. But it seems like every other month, he's popping back up in the news, being exposed about being with another, another man, all right? Every other month, everybody, somebody is coming out saying that uh, Diddy was sleeping with this dude. Diddy was sleeping with that dude, all right? And now the new one is Meek Mill, all right? And at first, I wasn't even going to speak on this because, like I said, this is old news. We already know how the industry get down. We already know that Diddy is one of the main ones that set up an industry where if you want to get a record label, they send a lot of artists through him first, all right? Because uh, the game, he was on Drink Champs, and he had the sunglasses on, so you can even look in him, look uh, in his eyes when he was speaking about going shopping with Diddy, and he pretty much subliminally admitted that he slept with Diddy to get where he was at. Then there was this other light-skinned dude. I, I did a video about him a few weeks ago or a month ago or something like that. And it's this young, young dude, man, all right? He, he over here, you know, blushing and everything, talking about how he went... To an island with Diddy, and they was over here asking him like, "Yeah, what were you doing with Diddy on the island or whatever?" He was just like, "Ah, oh, nah, we was just chilling, man. I was with my shouty. I was with my shouty talking about he was with a female and shit." But we already know that's not the case, man. Diddy is getting down with these dudes out here, and like I said, I wasn't gonna speak on this, but then it was some, uh, it was videos that's popping up with people talking about this audio leaked. With Diddy and Meek Mill, and it's it, and it's explicit audio. It's not no talking or nothing like that. They said it's explicit audio, and you can hear them getting it in. And the thing is, man, like I said, I wasn't gonna speak on it, but when I heard about that, then I heard about another dude that's in a, that's a football player. What's his name? Uh, Patrick Ryan. How this dude literally has two sons and a wife. But now he just got caught behind the scenes with a G-string on and he over here knobbing down another black dude, man. And once again, I wasn't going to speak on this. But I, I hate that shit, man. I really do. I don't, I don't like being around the alphabet people at all. I don't understand them. I can't stand them. And I just wish they'll all go away. And they will. They will. Just like I was with a co-worker, man, you know, um, and this, the co-worker that I work with, he's an Edomite. We over here going to work, man, and every single time that, that they hire people now, they hiring these these alphabet people, man. Jake over here with this dyed hair, soft-ass spirit. It, it's disturbing, man. Like, when you, when you... <laughs> Oh, man, let me stop before I get pissed. I already know I'm, I'm going to get pissed while doing this video because, like I said, I hate being around them, man. I don't like them. But this is another, this is a video that I got queued up. As you can see, it says Diddy don't even care anymore. He's just admitting it. And pretty much when you look at this video, a lot of people look at this video and they will say, oh, he's talking about the artists that's in the industry as if they're not getting any opportunities. They're not being treated fairly or whatever because he's going to keep saying in the video, and excuse my language, he's going to keep saying there's a lot of fucking going on in the industry. People are getting fucked or whatever. And, you know, when you look at this video, people would think, like I said, he's talking about artists that's getting missed opportunities or not getting treated fairly, so forth and so on. But we already know what's going on behind the scenes, man. When he says things like this, he's saying exactly what he's talking about, man. When he says the F word, that's exactly what he means. And Diddy has no problem. He has no problem looking at another man, fam. Looking at another man. 
and desiring him and des having desire to a full grown man. Fuck is wrong with you, man? But like I said, anyway, let's play this video and then we're gonna grab the scriptures, man. I'm gonna give it to you raw. Parents make sure that you don't get fucked. Straight up, there's a lot of fucking going on in the entertainment industry. The music industry, everybody's getting caught up in something. I'm, I'm, I'm cured now though, everybody. I'm cured, everything's good, you know. Y'all can have me over for dinner, everything is good. Look, look at his damn eyes at the end. I'm gonna give it to you raw. Parents make sure that you don't get fucked. Straight up, there's a lot of fucking going on in the entertainment industry. The music industry, everybody's getting caught up in something. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm cured now though, everybody. I'm cured. Everything's good, you know. Y'all can have me over for dinner. Look, look, look at his face, man. Look at his face. That's a damn demon right there, man. That's a demon. And like I said, it just pisses me off because there's literally seven women to one man. There's way more women in the world than it is men. And you literally have men out here lusting after another man. That, I, 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 like I said, I hate that shit, man. I really do. You know, when you, when you, when you chill with brothers, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it, you know, it's, it's just a, a regular vibe, you know? You chill with brothers, you know, you like, hey, man, let's play 2K or something. <laughs> play dominoes. Watch the game. You know, watch the boxing fight or whatever. You know, you be brothers. That's it. It don't go no further than that. But when you get around another man and he has that woman spirit on him, and it's even worse than a woman, because when Jake gets into that spirit, man, he's become, he becomes less than a woman, man. Jake got to do the most because he got to prove and show everybody that he's G-A-Y. So when you, you know, like I said, when I be at work and everything, and like I was saying earlier, my co-worker my co-worker was like, man, you know, 10 years ago, we wouldn't have seen anything like this. Now, nowadays, fast forward, my co-worker was like, man, look at this. Every time, you know, they hire somebody, it's, it's these people. And like I said, you have no choice but to work with them. So then when you speak to them, you know, you you you, you can't have that um, you know, like that that connection. You know, you, you don't have that uh that connection where you just like, man, you know, I'm just, you know, just having a regular conversation with this dude or whatever, you know, he's just cool or whatever. No, you you feel that wicked spirit from him. You feel that wicked vibration because he's not trying to be who he's supposed to be. He's not trying to be a man. And it's weird as hell, man. It's weird as hell. And like I said, in this video, like, like they said right here, he's just admitting it. Diddy like, yeah, man, this whole, all kind of shit going on in the industry. And we already know. We already know. But when you, when you, you know, shit, thoughts go in the back of your mind and you'd be like, damn, these dudes out here is literally wrecking. Just like that, um, that one dude that came out a few months ago, he was talking about, um, Will Smith getting ran getting rammed by uh what's that huh damn what's that dude that dude name that's married to uh married to gina i forget what his name is but that dude came out and did an interview and he was like yeah man and he, uh will smith be going to these secret places and he was getting rammed by the dude that's married to gina and he said when he caught him he said no he was going in on him man that shit is disturbing it really is. And now we live in a, in a society where they tell us to accept that, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? No, we not accepting that. Every time things like this come up, man, like I said, I get sick and yes, we can dim it. We don't want to be around this shit no more, man. But this is one of the things that's required of you if you really want to be part of the entertainment industry, man. And not, that goes for all of it. If you want to be a news anchor, a, a, a athlete, a musician, an actor, whatever it is, if you want to become successful, you got to go through this lifestyle. This is Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. It says, for whosoever will, will save his life shall lose it, 
whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited it if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. A lot of these dudes out here is getting ready to feel that fire, man. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah, what happened with them? That place went out by fire. Babylon the Great today, aka America, is way worse than, than uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Way worse. And the scriptures tell us that this place is going to go out by fire. And I can't wait for it to happen, man. That's why the scriptures say right here, what you really going to profit if you sell your soul? It's like brothers say, I, one, one of the uh, brothers that I saw in one of the posts, uh, they was talking about Wendy Williams. They was like, Leah, look at this. You got into the industry. You made all that money and what you get in exchange? Demons. You get you get demons. You get you walking around looking like this, being bugged out, not thinking clearly, doing things that's going against your conscience. Because you already know Jake, man. Jake, is an, they're Israelites. The law was given to them. So naturally, so naturally is within themselves and they know that they're doing wrong, man. When Esau gets in situations like this, Esau don't give a fuck, man. Esau enjoys it. Let Esau be Esau. Esau going to be like, oh, okay, it's, it's another dude, whatever. <laughs> they love that shit, but Jake, they already know that that shit is wrong. But they'll do it anyway just for the simple fact that they want to find a way out. They want the luxury and the riches and the pleasure and the quote unquote freedom right now. Fuck right now, man. This place is getting ready to be destroyed. And here it is. Jake getting worse and worse. You got fucking six foot seven <laughs> grown men out here putting on G-strings, man. Getting on their knees for another dude. Like I said, I'm going to keep my cool. Because like I said, I hate, I hate them, man. I hate them. I hate alphabet people. I do not like them at all. This is Luke chapter 8, go to verse 16. And it says, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or put it under a bed, but set it <clears throat> on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. You hear that? For nothing is secret. That shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Everything about the industry and what these celebrities are doing are coming to the light, man. Because this internet that we have nowadays, there's no escape. No escape. You got people out here hacking into people's accounts and all of these different things left and right. You got people that's in the industry that's, you know, their conscience is kicking in. And now they over here exposing other celebrities. You got Meek Mill over here. He over here trying to defend the shit. But the way that he defended saying that he only be with women is off as hell. It's like the stand-up comedian said. Like, man, you sound like a little ass boy. He's talking about, oh, no, 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 man. I get all kind of women. I get all kind of women. Shit, I, I even sleep with women when they on a period, man. That's how much I love women. What the hell? <laughs> you, you don't sound like somebody <laughs> who's out here... Uh, you don't sound like somebody who's out here really trying to defend themselves to the point where you trying to get people to believe that you didn't sleep with Diddy. And the thing is, this is why Esau gets Jake into doing these things because they already know if Jake slip up, they got something on them. And they already know that'll break their spirit. They already know that'll break their image. Because if Jake get out of line, Esau be like, oh, okay, well, remember this video that we recorded? Remember this audio that we have? They like, man, do something right now. See what happened. You got you telling people that you a gangster. You telling people you was in the streets doing this and doing that. You over here making music videos, being with all the women. Well, let's actually see who you really are behind the scenes. And now look what's going on, man. Look what's going on. Meek Mill talking about all of these articles about him is coming out because he want to be independent. He want to move to Ghana and all of these different things. He about to come out with a, a album called Heathenism or some shit like that. So he's talking about the industry is coming at him or whatever. Well, if that's true, then guess what? <laughs> Esau like, well, I got receipts on you, man. Now look what's going on. 
Meek Mill is known for bending over for Diddy, man. It's some bullshit. But at the end of the day, like it says, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything here that shall not be known and come abroad, all right? This is the most high bringing everything to light so then they can judge, he can judge every single one of y'all, man. And, and we seeing it. We seeing it. I was telling my other co-worker, I'm just like, man, everybody that we looked at growing up, we don't respect no more. We don't even like the majority of these artists, man. I don't give a fuck who's your favorite artist. We already know every single one of them is wicked. You got 50 Cent over here trying to defend himself or whatever, talking about he never hung with Diddy or whatever. I'm like, man, dude, you in that shit too. You got TV show after TV show. You got movie after movie. You got one of the two, three top selling albums. Ain't no way you you, you made a deal with, um, with Coca-Cola, I think, so you could bring out the vitamin water and shit. Esau ain't gonna let you get all that money for, for nothing. So at the end of the day, and you know, Ludacris, when you know what Cat Williams is supposed to Ludacris, Ludacris over here responded with a weak ass freestyle. <laughs> he responded with a freestyle to defend himself, but he didn't deny what Cat Williams said though. So at the end of the day, like I said, all of these people, they're getting exposed for what they do behind the scenes. And the most I'm about to get them, man. It's one of the, this is one of the signs that lets you know that we at the end. Let's get Romans chapter 1 verse 26. And it says, For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one to another. You hear that? Burned in their lusts one to another. There's dudes out here who's literally looking at other men like women. When we over here, you know, when you outside or whatever, you just strolling about doing what you gotta do or whatever, you see a woman walk past, she got a, a beautiful face, got a nice body, you know, <laughs> she got a big booty or whatever it is. As, as a man, you gonna naturally stop what you doing and you gonna pay attention. <laughs> you gonna look. You gonna be like, man, I want that. There's men out here who's doing that with other men. Like, what? Come on, man. Come on, man. And like I said, we live in a society where they tell you, if you speak about this, that's hate speech. You need to be deleted. You need to be canceled. But for us, through the spirit of Yahweh about shipping out with shine, no, we don't speak about this in righteousness because this is wicked. I understand completely why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh was like, if you live this type of lifestyle, you're supposed to be put to death, man. You over here sticking your private part in another man's rectum and enjoying it. You have demons on you, man. You gotta go. Continuing, it says, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. This is what's going on right now in Babylon the Great. This is what's happening every single day. It's going on right now as we speak. And it's ridiculous. It's disgusting. It's disturbing, man. Like I said, you, and Esau put it in everything. He's putting it in children's books. He's putting it in cartoons. Kids don't have a chance nowadays, man. As soon as they're born, they got to look at these, these alphabet ways, man. Esau talking about they don't even they don't even have to choose their gender. <laughs> they don't even got to choose their gender, man. They could wait until like they're five, six, seven years old and didn't decide if they rather if they want to be a man or a woman. Some bullshit, man. But that's what's going on. They're burning lust one toward another. That type of lifestyle has to go. It must go, man. It must go. Let's get Isaiah chapter three because at the end of the day, they don't even care. They don't even care because now these alphabet people have rights. This is Isaiah chapter 3 verse 8. It says, for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is falling. You right. Khan, you are right. Our people is ruined through falling way at the bottom because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord. And it really is. Everything that Jake does today is against Yahweh Shem Yahweh 
and says to provoke the eyes of his glory. The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. They only they don't even care no more, man. They got all these parades. They got actual bars, was you know, you know, they got G-A-Y bars that only they can go to. They got all of these TV shows and everything, so you know, showcasing it like, oh, look at me. Dudes over here going to the gym, got muzzles and everything over here wearing the tightest of pants, the tightest of, of shirts, most colorful looking outfits, man. Putting on dresses, Jake, I mean uh Drake getting hearts lined up in his in his um in his hair. These rappers getting their fingernails painted. Other rappers coming out with their own perfume lines. Other rappers putting on wedding dresses and literally giving oral to machine guns. That's a real video. Look it up, man. Jake over here putting on wedding dresses and getting on his knees and knobbing machine guns. This is the world that we live in, man. But, but like they say, don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. If you say something, we gonna cancel you. That's hate speech. You're supposed to accept everybody for the way they are. This is why we can't wait for your house shot to return and destroy their ass, man. Because they don't even hide it no more. Back in the day, you wouldn't, they wouldn't do that, man. Back when I was growing up, like I said, I grew up in Chicago. Back when I was growing up, man, if you if you was living that type of lifestyle and somebody knew it, you would not be walking down the street saying that shit because you would have got your ass whooped. Right on the spot, man. Jake, you Jake used to do that back in the day. They like, man, they'll they'll say, man, look at this F A G G O T over here, man. And they'll be like, man, let's go get him, and they'll whoop his ass. Well deserved, even though the scriptures say you deserve worse. Like I said, the scriptures say he's supposed to die. But of course, you know, Jake ain't going to jail. But hey, Jake used to whoop their ass back in the day. But now you can't do nothing like that, man, because you'll go to jail. You can't even say nothing. But this is what's going on right now. But, hey, what the Lord say? He said, woe unto their soul. What that mean? Destruction. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. So destruction to the ones that's living that lifestyle. If you don't, if you, you, it's, I'm, I know Jake's right now that's talking about they trying to get right with God. And they ain't living that type of lifestyle, man. Talking about, yeah, I read the Bible. I do this and do that. But they over here being unseemly. Make it make sense, man. And like I said, this is another thing of Esau. Because Esau told you, you can live whatever type of way you want. Because Jesus died for your sins. So you can do whatever you want to do. Because his sin, your, your sins was brought upon him. And now look what's going on in the world, man. It's crazy as hell. Let's get one last scripture. Then we're going to close it out. We're going to get 1 Corinthians gonna get first corinthians chapter six and go to verse nine and it says know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate so for all of you nor abusers of themselves with mankind nor abusers of themselves with mankind so like you so for all of you people that's talking about oh you know that God only condemn um, homosexuality in the Old Testament. Well, here you go right here, man. And Yahweh Shai said himself that he came to fulfill the law of Moses. What's the law of Moses? The law that was given to the Israelites in the Old Testament. And that's written in the New Testament. So if you're really trying to be right with the Mosai, you got to leave that lifestyle alone. It says, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves or mankind, that you cannot make it into the kingdom of heaven, man. You got to die here with your enemies. It says, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So if you come across these videos, and not just mine, of course, you come across any other brother's videos, man, and you, you hear people talk about this, and you live in that lifestyle, you better consider your ways. You better consider your ways, man. Like I said, that shit is disgusting. It really is. It really is, man. 
the most i literally created another gender for you which is beautiful <laughs> i love women man love women most i created the perfect the perfect match for you literally literally but for some reason you want to be with the same kind as you man that shit gotta stop and like i said earlier it's gonna stop it's going to stop. This this shit right here, man. Like I said, he has no problem. Diddy has no problem. Looking at these other dudes. There's so many videos about him now, man. It's like a video with him and Rick Ross. He over here licking his lips while, while talking about Rick Ross. Kissing baby on the forehead and making weird ass noises and shit. Diddy enjoys that shit, man. Diddy gonna die. Point blank, period. He's gonna die. Just like them and the rest of these celebrities, man. And like they're saying right now, they're like, well, Diddy getting put on the spotlight, Usher getting put on the spotlight, Tyrese with the wearing of the dress. A lot of these celebrities get on, on the spotlight. Now everybody waiting for the big one. Jay-Z. <laughs> everybody like, yeah, Jay-Z is next to get exposed. All these celebrities are gonna get exposed, man. Because we in the last days. And that's going to that's gonna mess up a lot of Jakes, man, because a lot of Jakes look up to these people. And when they find out exactly what these celebrities do behind the scenes, it's going to change everything, man. It's going to be over with. And I'm going to clap when the most I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to celebrate when the most I put judgment upon these people, man. Real talk. So I'm going to end it with that. Like I said, I just wanted to bring that out. We live in a wicked ass world. And <laughs> we can't wait to get out of it, man. We ready to finally live in a righteous world. And it's coming. We just got to keep enduring and keep doing what we got to do for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm say, call Halayim Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learn this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwat that's listening and learning. And you have a I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.